Hi, my name is Borome. I work for New Europeans and we provide support and advice to EU nationals living in the UK who need to apply to the EU settlement scheme. Very often people assume that they can't apply under the EU settlement scheme because they have criminal records. That is not true as every case is different. Let's start by walking through the criminality section of your settled application. First off, as a rule, you should disclose all criminal offences, no matter how long the sentence was for. However, you do not need to declare the following. Spent convictions, which are convictions that no longer appear in your criminal records. Warnings or cautions, which are low-level offences, for example, writing graffiti on a bus shelter. Alternatives to prosecution, which are, for example, speeding fines. On your application, you will see the following questions. Have you ever been convicted of a criminal offence? You should answer yes if you have any conviction, even if this is an older conviction and you are not sure if it is still recorded in databases, such as PNC and warning index. Have you ever been arrested or charged with an offence that you're on trial for or awaiting trial? You should answer yes, only if this is ongoing at the moment of the application. Please note that this includes offences committed both in the UK or abroad. Have you ever been convicted of a criminal offence in the UK in the last 12 months? Have you ever had a criminal conviction outside the UK that involved any of the following? A violent offence or a drug-related offence prison sentence of 12 months or longer? Have you ever been arrested or charged for an offence for which you are currently on or awaiting trial or which is pending a decision to charge? Have you ever supported, encouraged or been involved in terrorist activities, war crimes, crimes against humanity or genocide and extremist organisations? Please remember that it's important to be as truthful as possible, as all applications will be checked against crime databases, including the police national computer. However, only serious ones will be referred to immigration enforcement for further consideration. Even if your case is referred to immigration enforcement, it doesn't mean that it will be refused. Each application is assessed on a case by case basis, taking into account a range of criteria. Here are the most common questions we have received from applicants. I have committed a criminal offence back in my country, not in the UK. Do I still have to disclose it when filing my application? Yes, unless you are sure that it doesn't appear in your criminal records in your home country. You can check if this is the case by contacting a lawyer in your home country. I have a pending criminal case in the UK. Will I be automatically refused the status? No. Your application will remain open until the criminal case is concluded. I have a pending criminal case in Poland, but I went to the UK to avoid the consequences. I purposely didn't disclose it on my settled status application, but I received my status anyway. Can the Home Office find out and what would happen then? Will my status be taken away? The Home Office runs their own background checks, and if a conviction appears in your criminal records, they will find out. False or misleading information amounts to deception and can in itself be a reason for refusal of any application. Moreover, it is considered a criminal offence. If you are convicted after you submit your settled status application or after you are granted settled status, the Home Office can still review your case, revoke your status and issue a deportation order. However, this will depend on the specifics of your criminal case and how serious your offence was. If you are denied settled status or pre-settled status, you can always appeal the decision. Does the length of the jail time matter when applying for settled status? Yes, if you have been in prison more than 12 months, your case will be referred to the Immigration Enforcement Unit. However, this does not mean that your application will be refused. Does it matter how long ago I was sentenced? No, unless the conviction is spent and no longer appears in your criminal records. My record was deleted from the Polish or Romanian penal system. Do I still have to disclose it? No, but you have to make sure that this is the case. Contact a lawyer in your home country to make sure that you are not mistaken. Does it matter whether the sentence was a suspended one? They need to be disclosed on your application, but in most cases, they are not considered serious enough to be referred to immigration enforcement or provide a basis for refusal of settled status. In summary, remember that one, you should not delay in applying. The deadline is just around the corner. Two, you must disclose all criminal offences unless the exceptions we referred above. 
Three, only serious criminal offences will be referred to the Immigration Enforcement Unit for further consideration. Even if this happens, it doesn't mean that your application will be refused. Four, if a conviction happened abroad, you must still disclose it. Cases abroad depend on the length of time that has passed since the sentence and conviction. Five, if you're denied pre-settled status or settled status for any reason, you can always appeal your case.